Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a vlog and it's just going to be, I don't really know what it's going to be, it's going to be just like a day in my life. It's my first day back in my home after being in my dorm for four months, um, so that's really exciting. Um, I slept really well last night. Um, I'm not particularly jet-lagged. It is around, like, noon-ish, um, back where I'm from, like, or where I was living on the East Coast. Um, but it's only, like, 9 o'clock here, so, um, honestly, if anything, it helped me. So that's kind of fun. So today is just going to be a really productive day in terms of I am filming a lot for YouTuber... Wait, no, not YouTube. <laughs> Vlogmas. Um, I definitely got behind with finals, and it definitely just screwed me all up. And so, I've basically decided that I am not going to hit the 25 mark. It's just not going to happen. But I am going to film all the ones I was planning on filming. So I had a lot of, like, preset sit-down videos planned. And I'm going to film those. I'm going to edit those, and those are going to go up, and those are going to be Vlogmas. And then I'm going to vlog intermittently and so vlogs are gonna go up they're just not gonna go up as many because I just don't have enough days to get those many vlogs up and that'll just like it won't be 25 but it will be a good couple more days of vlogmas um in the future I might do like a 12 days of vlogmas and do like the 12 days leading up to Christmas because that will be like either at the end of my finals or after my finals I need to check out the calendar um, or I might just heavily plan more in November and get like Thanksgiving just get a lot of filming a lot of editing done so like my first like couple weeks of vlogmas are set the ones I chose to film ended up taking me longer to edit than I thought and so I'm getting the hang of that more but yeah so today I'm going to be filming at least like three or four videos I'm filming a get ready with me and then some more sit down videos and then this video um, so I'll take you along when I'm filming those i'm also planning on editing i think three videos today so take you along with that and then on a non youtube instagram social media blah 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 side i am gonna do some like collegey application stuff um not college applications but like internships stuff for like my actual collegiate career oh you can see i filmed um my whole makeup collection last night um, and I swatched a lot of my lipsticks, and these are the three that stayed, so, yeah, D do with that information what you will. Um, I think this video might be coming out before that video, but I'm not entirely sure. I know a lot of the videos I'm filming today are coming out before that video, um, just because I do kind of want to keep the schedule that I originally planned. But, yeah, or not the ones I'm filming today, but the ones I'm editing today. Yeah, sorry. Um, maybe those I'm filming today, too. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. We're crazy. I honestly don't know if I even filmed an intro to this video. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Peyton. I am a university student. Um, I study computer science and political science at a university in New England, but I live in California and I'm home. This channel is a hodgepodge of beauty stuff. Um, minimalist and eco-friendly and vegan stuff. Um, fitness stuff. If I ever film any fitness stuff again, I have no idea if I will. Um, honestly, it's just whatever I'm in the mood to film, and currently I've been getting really into makeup, and so that's what a lot of stuff has been. Um, and I'm currently in the middle of Vlogmas, which means videos are coming up sporadically, but hopefully more regularly now that I'm home every day. And, um, I have some really exciting new projects for the new year, so if you want to stick around, you totally should. But besides that, let's get into this video. And I'm going to go film a Get Ready With Me. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, so update. I got everything set up to film. I got my space all ready. I got the tripod all ready. I set up the camera, and then the camera had low battery. So the battery is now charging. And I'm going to do some editing while I wait. Um, probably going to go down and eat breakfast at some point soon. I kind of wanted to do my makeup before I do that because I want to do my makeup and then put on my clothes but I might just go down in my robe um because I can because this is my house and it's not the dorm Ooh, fancy 
I also don't know what food they have for me downstairs because I am such a particular diet, but I'm sure I have oatmeal and fruit. I know there's a persimmon downstairs that has my name on it, so yeah, probably gonna edit at least one video and then I'll make it downstairs. So, see you guys in a little bit. <coughs> I would cough as soon as I turn on the camera. Anyway, um, I finished editing the video. I need to upload it, but I came downstairs and I had breakfast slash lunch. I had a brunch of refried beans with salsa and tortilla chips, and it was very yummy. Um, and I'm watching Smokey Glow on um, YouTube. Smokey Glow, Hannah, I love her so much. Um, but I'm watching her glow mist, her indie makeup awards, which I love because I'm always trying to find new indie makeup. I'm probably gonna make a video soon that's like all the indie makeup I want to try, all the indie brands I want to support type thing because I've been making this list on my phone and oh my god, it's so long because it's not even just makeup. Like I want to try a bunch of these indie candles that I've been looking at. It's just like I have so much stuff that I can't buy new stuff so I can't support the ones I want to support. So, um... That's going to be a big theme of the new year, is going to be getting, finishing, getting the use out of the things that I have so that I can bring things in that more align with my values and also um, are supporting more of the type of companies that I want to support, um, including small businesses and people of color owned brands, um, all in like clothes, makeup, and other lifestyle-y things like candles. Um, yeah. Um, other than that, I need to wash my dishes, and then we're gonna head back upstairs and actually film my Get Ready With Me that I meant to film multiple hours ago. I think I'm gonna go for, like, a halo eye, so we're gonna see how that goes. Ooh, I just had a chill, <laughs> thinking that I'm gonna actually try to do something with my eye makeup. Ooh. It's not gonna go well. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Bye. Uh, hey guys, it's been a little bit since I last checked in with you. It's been kind of productive. I filmed my Get Ready With Me and I uploaded my Lush Yes or Pass video. Um, but then I like was on a video chat with one of my friends for a good while. So, yeah. Um, I did get dressed and I did do my makeup, obviously, because I did a Get Ready With Me. But... Besides that, not super productive, so I'm definitely going to do some more work. Um, I have like two, I think, hours before I'm going to dinner tonight for my grandmother's birthday. So, <clears throat> uh, um, but yeah, so I have to wear a dress for that, but other than that, I'm like ready now. So, yeah, I think my plan is I want to film one or two more videos and I'm going to edit one or two more videos today so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing and I will see you in a little bit bye hey guys I am about to start doing my makeup and so I figured I would check in with you um I stopped filming yesterday uh, at probably like 3 p.m. I don't think I showed you anything past then. I went to dinner for my grandparents for my grandma's birthday, and then I played games, and then I went to sleep. Um, I went to sleep pretty early, actually. It was really nice. I was very tired. It was nice. Um, <coughs> so it was good that I was able to go to sleep, but that means I did not sign off. I did not finish filming, I, even enough, I think, to make a video. Um, and so I think what I'm gonna do is continue um, making this video going to today because today me and my sister are going shopping at a local like strip mall kind of thing <coughs> and so that should be fun and so I'm just gonna make this both of these days like I said I'm not really putting any pressure on myself for vlogmas anymore I'm just trying to put up content um and all the sit down content i have and then just to supplement that with the vlogs that i make and so i am more than happy with just like making this vlog actually the length of a normal vlog and making it two days that, like that's no stress so that's what i'm gonna do my face is very greasy because i just put a bunch of moisturizer on it 
So yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup and watch some YouTube right now. I'm watching Rebecca Morgan, um, and I'll get back to you in a little bit. Bye. So this is the finished makeup look. I don't like it as much as yesterday's, I feel like. I don't think it has the same halo effect. Um, and I do think that I was a little bit more sloppy with the actual application. I might add just more glitter because I just feel like I don't have enough glitter there. Um, but kind of what I'm doing is since I'm trying to like use my naked palette more than I was before, especially the dark ones, ooh, sorry, um, is I'm like, tr I did the bang with the turn on yesterday and then today I did the devilish with the young love and then tomorrow I'm going to do the chunked out with the privacy so I'm slowly getting darker but I do think I'm just going to add a little bit more young love and then maybe I'll add a little bit um turn on just to really make it sparkly because I just feel like young love is sparkly but it's also like dark and look how just young love just like brightens everything I also just realized that I didn't do my inner corner highlight or my brow bone highlight so let me fix that, which I put a little bit more turn on on. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, she's better. I didn't do eyeliner because I'm just really lazy and I just didn't want to put it on. Um, I have no other excuse. Okay. Let me do my highlight. I really do think inner corner highlight is like a big transformation of the look i just think it makes your eyes look so much more awake and just the look looks so much more together i don't know who came up with it or how it came to be but i'm a big fan i also like more specifically put my highlight on like here today like i like i did like my normal highlight and then i went back with like my tiny brush and just like really accentuated right there on both halves of my face and I really like that so I might continue doing that in the future um and honestly I just I just don't love my look today but that's okay because not every day is gonna be a good makeup day and that's okay um and yeah I don't know I do think that it's kind of like an I can't wear like a full face of makeup every day or I'm just gonna like start to not like it because it really is not my face you know and normally I use just like a little bit of concealer but I've been trying to use up my Tarte Amazonian clay, and so um, I have to do my full face. But I might just start doing using it almost like as a concealer. I don't know, because I'm basically out of my concealer, as you know if you saw my empties video, that this baby is gone. I'm scraping the sides on her to make her last until Christmas when I get new concealer, but besides that, she's gone. Anyway, bye, see you later. Hey guys, so I realized that I filmed nothing of the actual shopping trip, but I figured I would just do a little haul of what I got. I didn't get very much, um, but I did get some stuff. So, the first thing I got was a Lush deodorant. I left my deodorant at school. I used the Native deodorant, but I got one of their naked ones. This is the Aromaco. Romaco. I have no idea. But it's like a naked one. I think it'll work pretty well. I've had it before and I didn't love it when I had it before, but I also let it dry out significantly before even starting to use it. So I'm hoping now that if I just start using it now, it'll work out really well. The next thing, um, this is kind of in the order I got it, but also like, does that really matter? Um, this is a candle from Ross. This is Tis the Season to Shine. It's in Vanilla Marshmallow and it smells so good and i am trying to work through all my candles right now um because as you'll see in an upcoming video i plan on filming i am gonna film a like all the indie brands that i want to support in 2020 um and just in general um and i just want to try um and i have a couple of candle companies on there because there are some specific candle companies that i want to support in the coming year um and so i want to get rid of all of or not get rid of, but use up all of the candles that I have currently. Two of which being from Bath and Body Works, and then one of which being this new one. And then I also have this one, which is from a small company in um, Tacoma, Washington. My sister got it for me. 
And I also have one Target candle that I'm not super keen on using up all the way because it's my favorite scent ever. So that one I think will stay for the time being. It's also quite a large candle so it will take a, quite a while for it to fully be used up. And so I don't want to force myself to burn it when I'm not in the mood, if you know what I mean. But yeah, so I did get a new candle. Probably a bad idea, but it's very like for the season because right now I have a girl pant candle from... Bath and Body Works and the Summer Boardwalk, which I think is now just called Boardwalk. And one is Caramel Corn, that's the Boardwalk. And one is Cake, which is Girl Power, and I love them. But none of them are very holiday-esque. And this one, like, this one feels very holiday-esque, like, wintry season to me. Like, it just feels very wintry when I smell it. Um, and so I kind of wanted to have something that I felt a little bit more wintry when I smelled it. Just because I feel like I'm not going to finish these until the end of my being here for winter break um because I'm probably just gonna keep them burning like almost constantly but you know um the next thing I got was I got it at the same time with the candles which is I got myself some essential oils um this is a lavender a eucalyptus and a peppermint um I got these because um I forgot my normal ones at school but I brought my diffuser home and also, I want to make some bath bombs, and I figured it'd be great to have, sorry, I'm trying to not blind you, to have eucalyptus and lavender and peppermint. I thought those would be really nice scents for bath bombs, um, as well as I just like to have my diffuser going. Basically, if I don't have a candle going, I have my diffuser going. There's always a scent going on in my room, because I like that. It's something I enjoy, um, and it, like, hydrates the room. But I, like, and so I will just have my diffuser going without a scent in it, but I do like the scents. And then also because I'm making the bath bombs, um, I wanted to have essential oils for that. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought it if I didn't know I was making the bath bombs. I wouldn't have been able to justify it to myself. And then the final thing I got was I got myself the Color Natural, um, Natural Bamboo Brush. Um, the blush brush. I don't think I'm going to use it for a blush brush. I'm actually going to use it for contour because I've been using this brush for contour and I've been like kind of liking it but kind of not liking it and I kind of just want to try this like angled but more fluffy brush so I can just blend it out more like easily because what I've been doing is I've been using this to like apply it and then I've been using this brush which is actually like my foundation powder brush to like blend it out. And I've kind of been like, eh. and then I've been like going through and doing this for my blush like that. Um, and then using this again for my foundation. And sometimes if I don't like clean it off well enough, then it gets a very like, makes my skin very bronzy looking. Which like, it wouldn't be a problem. It's just that it doesn't match the rest of my body and it doesn't look good. Um, and so I don't like it. But yeah, so I got this. And we will see. Maybe I will prefer this as a blush brush and or like a different brush I don't really know but it's definitely something I want to try I'm also getting new sponges for Christmas and so those might become my go-to blenders for my contour I have no idea but I did want to try this and so I got it um other than that that is it for things I got today I tried on a really cute dress at H&M but I just decided that I didn't really need it and then I also just don't really want to support H&M as um, a company because it is fast fashion um, it's definitely not the worst fast fashion comp brand out there, um, but it just, to me, it wasn't worth it to buy the dress. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hey guys, um, I don't remember the last time I checked in. Um, I'm wearing a towel, by the way, like I'm not naked. Sorry, just thought, thought I should mention it, you know? Um. I think the last time I checked in was after the, um, there's something on the lens, sorry. Um, after the shopping, I did, like, the little haul for you guys, mini haul. Um, so after that, I had dinner, I decided to have, like, a spa night, and so I did, like, a steam, like, I steamed my face and, like, my body a little bit, and then I did a face mask with, um this really nice um blue corn mask that I have um that will probably might be in my next empties video because I'm almost out 
and I'm probably going to be using up the rest in the next couple days, um, because I'll use it the next time I do a face mask, probably, or maybe, if not the next time, the time after that, because it is very exfoliating. Um, and then I took, like, a nice shower, I didn't wash my hair, that's why it's up, but I just, like, washed my body, took off the face mask, and did, like, a scrubby, like, the Lush scrubby, which is just, like, really hydrating. It's, um, a shower, it's a body conditioner. And like a body scrub so it's like exfoliating but also um conditioning and now i'm probably gonna use what's left of this lotion which is gonna be in the project pan that i filmed for you guys in a couple days but i think i'm just gonna open it now and then i'll just mention it in my project pan and i'll be like i already finished it so i guess that's one <laughs> um but just because it feels silly to not use this just because it's in my project pan um i'm probably gonna cut it open and use it because that's the best way to get the rest of the stuff out um so i'll use the rest of this and then i have one other lotion that i'll probably end up using some of as well and i'm just gonna do lotion on my entire body so you don't get to watch that mm. but i'm gonna do that now and i just thought i would check in with you guys um i'll probably check in with you guys one more time before i say good night um to just wrap everything up um, and end this two day long vlog for vlogmas. Um, besides that, see you guys once I am silky smooth. Bye. Hey guys, it is almost midnight and so I am just coming on tonight to say goodnight. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if let me know your thoughts on the video down below if you liked it if you didn't like it, if you want to see more vlogs if you want to see more mini hauls or like mini kind of stuff that's going on that i'm doing you know like i don't know <laughs> um let me know down below i hope you're enjoying vlogmas um and if you want to stick around you totally can because i make new videos every few days and right now i'm in the middle of vlogmas which means a new video every day hopefully um and so I'd really love it if you came along for the journey with me. Other than that, see you next time. Bye. Weren't you too scared to spell? No matter the cause, you 